Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. In this video, we will see how to create a user forced core in a cluster data on tap system. This video is based on the KB ID 1012557. Core dumps are generated when a node panics. Panics can be caused by hardware or software failures. When a core dump is generated, NetApp support and engineering personnel can use it to determine the cause of the panic. Now let us go through the different methods to create a core on a storage system running the cluster data on tap operating system. Press the NMI button. This is the recommended method to create a user forced kernel core. The location of the NMI or reset button depends on the storage controller model. In case of FAST 6000 and 3000 series, remove the front bezel. The NMI button is the leftmost button below the LCD module as displayed on the screen. In case of FAST 2020 and FAST 2050, the NMI button is located next to the console port on the back of the storage controller. Whereas in case of FAST 3100, the reset button is located on the back of the storage controller. The latest FAST 8000 series storage systems do not contain a physical NMI button, therefore in these cases, use the service processor to generate a core file by running the system core command. For more information on how to locate the reset button on a storage system, see knowledge base article 1011564. You can use the remote LAN module or service processor to create a user force core by executing the command system core. This will cause a dirty shutdown of your appliance. Press yes to continue with this process. You can also use the cluster shell to create a core. However, this is not a recommended method and the command is displayed on the screen. Here sync underscore core is a comment used as an example and this is not mandatory. We hope this video was useful. Be sure to subscribe to KBTV for more such technical videos. Thanks for watching.